Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Chaos in Southwest Nebraska. I hope everybody is having a wonderful Labor Day weekend. So today I thought we would talk about a TV show, a show that everybody seems to love. Dang fly. Uh, even my own girlfriend has streamed all the episode, watched it. I've tried watching it a few times and I freaking hate this show. I'm talking about Yellowstone and... <gasps> Oh my god, you have to love Yellowstone. It's the greatest TV show on right now. Well, no, it's not. I, I've i tried watching a little bit of it, and I I, I can't. Yeah, yeah, I'm having a beer, but I'm parked for the day, so it's okay. Um, as someone who's involved in uh, the cat, ag industry, more cattle than anything, I mean, if you can see behind me, I'm hooked up to a stock trailer getting ready to haul some cattle to the sale barn in the morning. And so I'm going to offer you my thoughts on Yellowstone from a cattleman's point of view, I guess. Now, before I completely dump on it, there is one line that I did like from the show. Kevin Costner's character. I don't know the details. Hardcore. I only watched a few times. Couldn't take it seriously. But some vegan, kale-eating, hippie, PETA animal lover is doing this protest. And Kevin Costner goes... Yeah, well, when a tractor goes across the field with it and plows it up to raise your soy or kale or whatever, it kills all the mice and worms and snakes and all the other wildlife to raise your food. So how cute does an animal have to be before you stand up for its rights to feed you or whatever? And that's a good quote. But other than that, that's one of the that's the one good thing I've seen from the show. But first of all, I mean, the whole cowboy mafia thing, um, folks, if you grew up in the city and you haven't been around people involved in the rural areas and agriculture, uh, we're not part of a crazy cowboy mafia. None of us are. I don't know of anyone. Um, I made a TikTok video about it a while back. You decide to take a vacation and you are country cruising, sightseeing, and you blow a tire or break down and... Somebody comes along and offers to help. He's being sincere. He's not going to give you a ride to the train station. Unless, you know, you're going to a actual train station, I guess. But anyways, I digress. Um, so that drives me nuts. I'm sure people in the city are think we're all just this backwoods redneck cowboy mafia when we're just, we really are nice normal people, I promise. And the other thing that drives me nuts about the show, uh, just the way they work cattle, it's kind of, well, I don't know, it just, just doesn't seem like they really did a lot of research. I, they don't look like they know what they're doing at all on the TV show. So that drives me nuts. And then the knowledge of cattle. So th this, is, this is the one scene that completely did it for me when I lost faith in the show and quit taking it seriously at all. It's a combination of they don't didn't do research and uh, the cowboy mafia stuff. So, you know, the somebody flies over a pasture with a plane and dumps bales of clover out. So, oh, we got to get rid of oh God, that cattle. Clover will kill that cattle, and we got to burn it off if it grows our next spring. It'll kill it. Oh, no, it will not. Uh, if your cattle have proper nutrients and are getting mag in their mineral, you know, yeah, green grass can make cattle sick if they're not taken care of. Grass tetanus is what it's called. But, uh, no, I mean, you could give cattle the proper mineral and they'd love that clover the following spring. So, I just, I, I can't do it anymore. I, it's a terrible show. Uh, you know, the last thing that drives me nuts about it is, well, Kevin Costner in general. I mean... Yeah, I like Field of Dreams, and um, Open Range was a pretty good one. He's been in some stuff that I like. Overall, I'm not a big fan, you know. I hate Dances with Wolves. I'm probably one of the few people that does. I can't stand it. I can't. Waterworld, can't stand it. I mean, Kevin Costner's just... He actually does a pretty good job acting on the show, what little I've seen, because he's just being himself. He's just being a pompous jerk, which is what he is. So anyways, that's my thoughts on Yellowstone. I'm sure everybody's just gasping and wondering how could you hate it, but I gave you the reasons why I still won't watch it. I try and avoid watching it when my girlfriend is streaming it, but anyway, to each their own. I like some shows that other people don't, so... Anyway, whatever you want to watch. If you haven't seen Yellowstone, I don't recommend it. We don't. We aren't that way. 
But anyways, I hope you all continue having a wonderful weekend in chaos in southwest Nebraska. Over and out.